shit. Alright. Oh, I did not expect a market. I have no idea where to go. Oh, go toward the church. Why not? Wow, this place is wild. What I found out in my life is that anytime the thinker is identifying with things that makes me different than other people, then that's my ego thinking my thoughts. When I'm identifying with the things that make me the same, that I have in common with everybody, that's my true self, thinking my thoughts. It's a scary concept for a lot of people to think that their true selves might be something indistinguishable from anybody else's true self, that we're going to lose ourselves in that process. And it's not incorrect. Um, your ego will start to fade and lose power and strength and position in your life as you stop identifying with the things that make you different from everybody else. What the ego doesn't understand is the heavy, heavy price that you pay when you identify that way. It's an identity of separation. It is an identity of exclusivity. In order to be who you are, the ego says that there can't be anybody exactly like you. And so you will always be separate. And you will always have a, a certain sense of, of loneliness that, that goes along with that. You will constantly strive to differentiate yourself. Not just differentiate yourself, but also position yourself above those around you. The ego is highly competitive. It's always trying to identify with the rarest things. It wants you to have the most rare thing. It wants you to, to be the most rare thing, the fastest, the best, the richest, because those are factors that can create separation between you and others and help you maintain a separate identity. And as far as I'm concerned, it's the cause of every problem in the world. Whereas the spirit identifies with things that are the most plentiful, things that permeate everything, like consciousness and love, and it's not at all threatened by anybody else achieving. Looking for a white house with red and an open door. And, uh, let's see how this goes. As usual, right? Is that my, is that my catchphrase? Let's see how this goes. People are looking at me like I'm doing this wrong. All right. Just tell me you're looking for the gringa. Oh, it works out. The girl that I'm staying with at the Airbnb is a Danish girl. Who grew up here until she was 10. I lived here until she was 10. Moved to Daneland, as I like to call it. Um, uh, Denmark, and then moved back. She's an artist, she's a singer, and a writer, and she hosts people. So, really interesting to find someone living here like that. I imagine there's probably a, an expat community here because this place is really interesting. She says, the lady at the place says to go up. I hate that stone. I don't like you, Brick. I'm glad I flattened my tires. 
this would not be doable. Are you kidding me? Oh my God. Whoo. This is about to get real. Oof. I guess. I have some experiences. Words. I'm an old man. Young folks don't pay. All kinds of stuff. It will help you a little bit to know, to expect. Um, if you've lived in some kind of form of community, it'll help you in that regard. But we will all deal with expectations that we we all, we all have a picture in our head of what, about how many. We will all be surprised by even realize we had. Um, it's that way in any our reoccurring. They're from an old. They're they're part of an old relationship. Recreate. We don't create very many relationships for the first that about your relationship that you know what you expect and so you're not as surprised the next time around that you have these i think too we're, we're building some it's it's your first parent it's your first child it's your first friend your, it's your first community and about your relationship that you know what you expect and so you're not as surprised the next time around that you have these expectations well community is that thing too we're, we're building something for the first time even know why you just didn't even or some of them you think granted um <clears throat> if i was at new community and said how does everybody feel about um people shitting in the living room people would laugh their asses off because everybody would assume of course you don't do that you're going to be amazed at how many things you don't even need to have a station about we didn't even realize we had and somebody's going to violate those <clears throat> and be equally surprised by your... In that regard. But we will all deal with expectations that we didn't even realize we had. Yes, 